Um, I think we, we, we can we imagine new buildings, we imagine new constructions, new housings. And in fact, we can also refer to fragments of existing life that we know precisely. Building, a new building, it is a compilation, combination, combination of different fragments. And we can really have a project that is imag imagination, but it is done with real fragments of life. So, for example, with my students, we start from real situations. Situations where they have already been. They know if it is hot, warm, nice, uh, etc. And we take those fragments and we combine them all together to produce a new situation and to place it in a new concept, in a new context. So it is this way that we can work with real fragments. And with these real fragments, we can make a new and inventive project. And for me, to film, it means that you are there. Or to take a photo, it means you know the place. You have been in the place. You know its ambience and its atmosphere. And to be sure that you work with this reality is for me the most important point. I, a filmmaker is he, making a film and it is, uh, the action is in a, <coughs> perhaps in, a, in an hotel. He can take one room in uh, Bangkok, another room in San Diego, another room uh, in Paris. He can take the lobby in Copenhagen and then can take the swimming pool in another city. And he can mix all of them and he will produce a new project and you can install it in this place or in this place. But all this system is made with real, real elements. So in a certain way for you, the precision is to be able to capture the uh, reality. To, to feel, to feel this moment, to touch the walls, to, to shake the hands, to to smell the, the, the in a in a restaurant the, the uh, and to, to to play with this element that you know perfectly because you have already experimented this and for you Giancarlo wh why did you say that uh, you know in a certain way that uh, when you said that the video is the the way to conceive architecture mm -hmm. is uh, for the same reason that uh, Creo que hay dos aproximaciones un poco diferentes de alguna manera. Una, my approximation is slightly different in some way. Una tiene una medida, en una medida es un es un proceso de investigación. For us, it's a process process of research. Que lo que busca es a través del video. A través video. Amplificar. Amplify. Y captar. And capture. Condiciones que no son eh, fácilmente recordables a veces. Condiciones que no son fácilmente recordables a veces. Cuando vas a un lugar. When you go to some place. Que tiene que ver con condiciones atmosféricas, temperaturas. Uh, atmospheric condition, temperature. Ambientes. Environment. Pero sobre todo maneras de utilizar el espacio en algunos lugares donde vamos a hacer proyectos. More than everything, the way space is used in the place where we go to make designs. Y cuando lo utilizamos como herramienta para mostrar un proyecto. Y cuando usamos el video como herramienta para mostrar un proyecto, el interés radica en la capacidad que tiene de mostrar lo que la arquitectura de alguna forma es capaz de producir. Uh, el interés es muy much en cómo el video video es capaz de convertir, cómo el building y el lugar se usan. Sobre todo cierto tipo de condiciones cotidianas. Uh, some kind of uh, everyday life activities. O de ritos en la forma de, de habitar. Y some recurrent activities en la forma en que los lugares son habitados. Estoy convencido que, que todavía se puede experimentar mucho más con el video. I think we can experiment a lot more with video. Para producir arquitectura, para producir la forma de la arquitectura. To produce architecture, to produce the shape of architecture. Que de alguna manera Jean está planteando algo alrededor del montaje. And, and in some way, uh, Jean Philippe is, is uh, proposing something about the idea of montage. Como una estrategia proyectual. As a strategy of design. Creo que ahí están yeah. un poco las so dos condiciones. So the best are the two conditions. One is Yeah, about videos, uh, research and uh, the idea of montage. Uh, when uh, you, you uh, 
speak of architecture, uh, both of you, they speak of architecture not only for what it is, but also for what architecture can produce as an action. And uh, I remember, Jean-Philippe, that uh, you uh, spent uh, some of your uh, writings uh, in uh, explaining this kind of, to the, you, I think you described this on one side as uh, the architecture of the, I don't remember now if it was the volume, the architecture of the void, uh, to express this kind of different positions about architecture today that you can consider. One which is considering architecture in itself, and one which is considering uh, the, the, the architecture and the effects or the uh, actions or the result architecture can produce. Today I have very often the feeling that uh, architecture is reduced to objects and very often on closed objects uh, installed on a specific parcel of ground. And uh, most of the time I don't find the relation, the connection, the interaction between the, the buildings. And normally urban planning should do that, create these relations. But in fact it doesn't really do that. So, I, I, we try to, to make architecture that in a way is a sort of urban planning. A situation that creates this connection, this possibility, this extension, this uh, communication. So, instead of an object that is closed, we are thinking of systems. Systems that are fluids, open, and creating climates climate that are dealing with the outside climate but sometimes protecting, sometimes totally open. So for us the, there is no uh, a form, there is not uh, a facade, there is just a system of flows that create connections to the neighbors, to the city, to the streets, to the urban situation. So this idea of a building that is a system uh, and that creates and offers a good climate is for us the way we want to work. So that, that is also when you spoke of architecture or whatever, to be always inside something. Uh, it was a, a, a way to express the fact that you are always inside the system of relationship. Yeah, yeah. We, we, so we, we think of the architecture from inside, designing each bathroom, the connection, what, we, what you see from your bathroom, or you go from the bathroom to your bedroom and then to the living room and uh, in a way you, de you decide of all the space the best as you can and this produce at the end the building. We don't mind so much about how it looks like from outside. At the beginning we were anxious. We, it will be beautiful, it will be bad. We do, but now we think that if the inside space are generous enough, are interesting enough, at the end the image from outside will be okay. But when you speak of the inside, do you always uh, describe that in physical terms? Or uh, does it mean also, for example, to be inside uh, a certain uh, culture or inside a certain uh, social context? Uh, um, or the inside for you is more a kind of a, the architectural or the physical space? No, you can skip the question if you don't like. No, 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 it's okay. No, inside it is a physical space, but this physical space has to create the condition and the capacity to create uh, communication, social relations, uh, link with outside, link with the sun, link with the, the climate but also to, to offer possibilities and capacities for uh, students to meet each other or to invite a new, uh, another school in the same place. Uh, so this, uh, we, we really like this idea of creating capacities where freedom is possible and surprise of can, be, can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, Giancarlo, when, uh, I think it's very interesting because uh, uh, Jean-Philippe is speaking of, uh, of a system and you were speaking of strategies, if uh, I took a proper note. Uh, speaking of an architecture which is evolving, which is uh, 
again and not fixed with a, an object uh, uh, as a, a the objective. A mí me sorprendió muchísimo este, viendo la, 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 las dos conferencias. I'm very surprised by seeing both lectures. Que terminamos hablando un poco de lo mismo. We are in the end talking a little bit of the same thing. Sistemas, systems, ambientes, environments, eh, formas de usar y habitar, uh, ways of using things. El interés está en lo que la arquitectura puede propiciar. The interest in what architecture can produce. Eh, y aunque hablamos de lo mismo, lo que es eh, realmente contradictorio son los contextos en que estamos even trabajando. If, even if we're talking very much about the same thing, what is how different are the contexts where we operate. Por un lado, la aproximación desde el punto de vista de la vivienda, o del habitar, de condiciones muy cotidianas, muy pequeñas. On one hand, this uh, understanding of the uh, question of the residential housing uh, uh, activity with very delicate understanding of everyday life que permiten multiplicar esas formas de vida digámoslo así en lo, lo que estaba mostrando eh, that, Jean. that allow to multiply this way of living eh, y en el caso nuestro trabajamos sobre condiciones puramente públicas y la and condición de ser edificios públicos es completamente diferente a ser, a ser vivienda well in our case we permanently work only on public building where the conditions are very much different from when you talk about residential conditions y sobre todo en esos dos contextos en los cuales estamos, estamos contexts. trabajando yo, yo estaba, el año pasado estuve en París, en, 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 en San Michel, en toda la, la periferia francesa que me interesa muchísimo. Last year I was in Paris in the French suburbs, that is a condition that I'm very interested in. Independientemente a la, cual, a la cualidad o la, o la forma de habitar del, de, su, de, la, de las personas de esos lugares, y que, que básicamente ya no, no, no son franceses, son migrantes en su mayoría. And what is interesting is that uh, beyond the kind of like a special condition, what is interesting to me is the fact that there are no, no more French there, it's basically all foreigners. Me interesaba mucho cómo transferir ciertas condiciones de, de, de su habitar, de, de, del cual provienen, en el nuevo, en el nuevo hábitat o mundo en el cual están. I was very interested in how you can transfer the knowledge of the habitat for where they come from, to be transferred that to the new condition where they live now. Yo creo que me estoy yendo para otra parte que es otro I interés. Think I, I think I'm going somewhere else. Pero, pero me interesa, a mí me sorprende y me emociona mucho encontrar que son dos cosas muy parecidas, pero en dos contextos completamente contrarios. I'm very moved to find that this attitude that we have a very similar but in two different like environment and context. But perhaps I try now to put you in a similar context because I know that you are doing now a project in Madrid yes. for uh, housing yes. for uh, 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 South American immigrants there. But so now I try to put him on your same uh, similar context. So how do you react? To yeah, that? Yeah, 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 what what are you doing now? Era un poco lo que estaba tratando de explicar ahora. Uh, this is uh, a little bit what I was trying to explain now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, que era como como producir vivienda. How to produce housing para un tipo de migrante for some some uh, migrants que ha pasado del campo that moved from the countryside a Europa to Europe.